what did it feel like to, um, to, to see yourself and to see this for the first time? Well, first I want to say this is God's platform. And when I say that, I give God the glory. So that's where I feel because as I see all my other sisters, we've all been through one journey. And I know a lot of us in here has been in the same type of journey as well. And um, I am truly, truly just looking at myself and seeing how I surrendered into his obedience. After experiencing two miscarriages six months apart, um, and then I just recently went through a miscarriage last year in November. And this last miscarriage, so like it was more devastating, although all of them hurt, but it's my this one was more devastating. I wasn't really to a lot of infertility um, to lie to me about who God is. God is a life giver. Um, God is a healer, and I knew that He loved me, and I knew that regardless of me going through that moment of pain, I wanted that baby. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, but I was not willing to allow myself to go back to a place of, well, forget about God, I'm not praying, I'm not worshiping, I don't want to go to church. I had been there, done that, and it was not happening, happening again. And so I got up because I know that there is a living God. He is a healer. He's a life giver. And infertility don't get to tell me who God is. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, the beginning of the video was hard for me to watch. I, I was crying sometimes, even though you get up from it when you have to watch it back. Um, it still kind of hurts. Um, but then, the end of the video, it was almost like I got to watch my life over the last 20 years in 10 seconds, and I just thought, look at God. Watching that for the first time, well, first I was kind of analyzing myself, so I had to get out of my head, because we're all critiquing, you know, I mean, we just critique, can I be real? I mean, I was critiquing myself the whole time, and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I got up from a meth addiction. If I have a, if I have a hair out of place, I think it's going to be okay, right? And I think, if anything, it made me realize I still have a lot of work to do after 16 years. I'm still jacked up. But I am so excited because... Although we all got up, we get to help other people get up. And that's such a beautiful thing. And I, I, I'm just thinking that that video is going to go places we can't yeah. even imagine. And people are going to see it that we can't even imagine. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to touch lives all around the world. I look at that time when I thought my life meant nothing. And now I'm on a stage. And now there's a platform. And I'm just, I'm beyond myself. This is the first time I've ever talked about that part of my life. Ebony and I have talked about it. it. It was a struggle to even, on that day, there was a lot of tears. It was raw, emotional, and authentic. And now watching it and being here in the moment, to your point, I think for a long time I was afraid of my call. I went through the pain, but I was afraid of the testimony because I was still wearing this face of, I want you guys to think I'm happy. I want you to think I'm a cheerleader. I don't ever want you to know my dirty little secret from my 18-year-old Jackie. And now I'm sitting in it and I'm standing in it and it feels good. Wherever you are on your journey, just know that we're all getting up one day, one moment, one decision, one choice, yes. one prayer, yes. one cry, one yes, yes, one obedient moment at a time. Yes.